Hey guys, it's Lindsay, also known as Bite Me Fox, back with you again, here to do an unboxing video for the Persona Take Your Heart Edition, uh, so you guys can check out all the cool stuff that I got with my Collector's Edition. Uh, I know I'm a little late on doing the vid, but Monday, after I got home from picking up the game, um, I wanted to sit down and play the game more than I wanted to make this video, so that's what I did. But anyways, let me show you what we got. Ah, see, I tried to open that tour gel, but that never works out in my favor. All right, so first thing up is the really cool box that it actually came in. Um, I really love the artwork on the front. It is got your main guys basically on the front and the kind of alternate guys, the support cast that you'll meet as you go through. Um, I haven't met any of them yet. I'm not that far in the game. And as most of you know, the game is huge. Um, but yeah, and let me see. It's so weird to do this backwards. All right, and that's what it looks like when you first open it up, which is really cool and dramatic like the game, so I really liked it. All right, first up you got your steelbook case that everybody pretty much got. Um, most people I talked to got at least the, the steelbook itself, which is really cool, I always like a steelbook. Um, but it's got the two different artworks on it. I actually like the inside artwork more. I kinda wish they had put that on the outside, but you know, if they had put that on the outside, I'd probably like the inside artwork more, because that's how it goes. So, you got that. Obviously the game's not in it because it's in my PlayStation right now. Which is really cool. Alright, and you've got our little adorable Morgana. Which honestly is the reason I bought this. Was just so I could have the cat. And yeah, I'm one of those people that opens my collector's editions. I never leave them all closed and sealed like you're supposed to if you're a good collector. Um, to me, I'd rather have a Morgana running around my house with an adorable little backpack with the little side saddle belt things I love. Oh, he's got a little buckle on his thing. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, so Morgana, who I'm really excited to find out more about. Um, it's kind of been my favorite weird character. Um, I wasn't a Barry fan. Barry was a little whiny, so I'm excited that I like Morgana a little bit more. Alright, and then we've got... The art book, and I will admit, I did bust out the art book earlier, so this is kind of a faux unboxing for the art book. Um, mine is a little damaged, which is really annoying to me, because it's just in this box, but whatever. Um, but yeah, it kind of shows you oh, some of the sketches, some really cool digital work. Um, some great stuff with like the way the costumes are done and I love these personas. So far all the personas have been super, super cool. Um, I think I'm gonna do his actual mask at some point for uh, like a little tutorial for working with some of the thermoplasties. Uh, Cause I really liked his his mask and I really liked the, the drama of how they had the um, personas come out this time. Um, not since you had to shoot yourself in the face have I liked their, their drama so much on that. Um, but yeah, this has everybody, kind of meet everybody. As you're going through, oh, that's weird, she's second, but whatever. And then, yeah, I do love Skull. I love his little rock star surfing pirate of awesomeness. That is so weird. It's a great, that's a great design. But yeah, so it keeps going. There's lots of pages. You can kind of see through all the different characters. Um, nothing really spoilery, so I, I like that about the book because it was really cool and I enjoyed it, but um, didn't feel like I was giving anything away um, when I flipped through the book because I was bad and I flipped through the book before I actually started playing the game. Um, soundtrack, which is always really good. Um, yet to be disappointed by a Persona soundtrack. Uh, I don't know why, but they just do a really great job with it. So I'm excited to put that as some background noise in my life. And of course, the reason I actually got it, ooh, my box is stressing. All right, I'm gonna close my box because it's getting like little stress marks on it. All right, and so of course the reason we all got it was because of this silly backpack. That's not true, I got it because of Morgana, but still, the backpack's gonna be really cool, I hope. So the backpack that of course the characters are running around with in the game. Um, oh, it's a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be, so. That's always the case. I'm yet to have, have a collector's edition where the bag was the size I thought it'd be. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's got the nice straps for wandering about town, getting stuck in things. And, yeah, so that's really cool. So the plaid, the uniform plaid is the actual plaid inside the bag, which is really cool. I don't know how well this is gonna show up, but it will. Um, which is super, I like that. Um, it's 
kind of thin, doesn't really have anything crazy going on with it. It's not, you know, gonna be your go-to bag for the rest of your life. But for me, it's a really cool way to, you know, celebrate the game, show off. I love carrying around things like this because when your fellow gamers see you and you can't help but comment when you see a fellow, uh, a fellow lover of a video game checking out your stuff. You're like, yeah, that's right, that's mine. I got that too. I spent too much money on that too. But anyways, all right, so that's the stuff that's inside the uh, Take Your Heart Edition. I'll try to see if I can find any Avengers that still have it and do some links down at the bottom. So uh, hopefully you can find you a version of Take Your Heart if you didn't get a chance to. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna get back to playing the game because yeah, it is all consuming and a lot of fun and I do highly recommend it. If you haven't had a chance to pick it up, start playing it yet, you really should. Um, it's been like by far my favorite game that's come out so far this year. Uh, and we've actually had some pretty good games come out this year. So that's saying something, despite the fact it's only April. Yeah. But anyways, that was me doing the unboxing, checking the stuff out. Uh, let me know what you're thinking of Persona or if you have anything else coming up that you're excited about. And I will talk to you guys next time.